Cook County homeowners will start finding those property tax bills in the mailboxes today. Most will see a higher tax bill, but some, especially in Latino neighborhoods, could see their property tax almost tripled. Cook County Treasurer Maria Pampas released a report this morning, reasons why the increases are hitting some neighborhoods harder than others, and she joins us now to talk about this. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. How are you? We are well. Thank you for giving us your time. Explain this. Why are people seeing these huge bills? Okay, I'm just going to give you a heads up on something. The bills probably should be hitting your mailboxes either tomorrow or the next day. But get this. We put this out 10 days ago up on the Internet. 66,000 people have already gone to my site, which is cookcountytreasure.com and have paid their bills, most of them online, almost 60,000 of them have paid online, to the tune of $365 million. So there's a big lesson here uh, for you. People are deciding to stay home. They don't want to come downtown, and they don't want to come into the office, and they want to be able to do everything online. So with regard to this report that we just turned out, I hired two stellar reporters away from the Chicago Tribune, uh, Hal Dardick and Todd Lighty. And I also hired away Andrew Gabrilos from Channel 9, and we have formed a think tank. And what the think tank does is look at inequities in the property tax system countywide. We've turned out several studies this year. You can go to cookcountytreasure.com, download each of the studies under PAPA studies. The most recent is in the last 10 days, we put together an 80 page report countywide by ward, by suburb, by area with interactive maps explaining exactly what happened. So let's start with Chicago. This year, Chicago was reassessed. Uh, areas of the county are reassessed every three years. So what happened this year in the reassessment process? First of all, the levy, which is a word that no one understands, it is not a dam. A levy is the amount of money that a government needs to run. It's no different from the amount of money that you need to run your house for a year. The levy amount in the city of Chicago this year went up by a half a billion dollars. It's up by a half a billion. So now you say, who, who is possibly going to pay this half a billion dollars. So there's a couple of choices. It will either get shifted to commercial or residential. The theory in Cook County is that commercial buildings should be paying more and residences should be saying less. But it came out quite differently in this report. So let me give you these stats. 32,000 commercial properties increased, but 37,000 went down. So more went down than up. And for homeowners in the city of Chicago, 406,000 increase and 318,000 went down. And you're going to say to me, Maria, why is it that so many commercial properties went down? I have my own theory I will share with you. Drive down Lincoln <laughs> Avenue, drive down Broadway, go into Water Tower. Water Tower is approximately 40% vacant. Almost two out of four in many strip areas and little small malls in the city are vacant, either due to COVID or the exorbitant right. expenses. Right. That and I'm sorry, to I'm sorry to interrupt you. We have seen a lot of businesses close. I understand that. Let's go back to the residential things because that's what I think a lot of people are worried about, what their personal home property okay. tax is and why some of them have gone way up. I understand there is a law called the recapture provision which exactly. you say has an automatic tax increase. Explain that to me. So last year, Springfield passed a law that said if anybody gets a refund, they can automatically increase taxes in every any governmental entity in Cook County. So this year, that recapture totaled $131 million for the city of Chicago, and no one had to vote on it. It was an automatic increase and it will continue into the future as an automatic tax increase that needs to be re-examined okay one more question while we have you here maria uh if if someone does have sticker shock when they get that bill of one of those sixty-six thousand that logged on last week and they were shocked when they saw the number how can a homeowner dispute that tax bill you need to go to cookcountytreasure.com the first thing that you need to do is put in your address in the little purple box 
It will give you a 20 year history of your property taxes, but it will tell you what can most help you right now, which is whether or not you got your homeowners senior or senior freeze or disability exemption and whether or not you got refunds going back 20 years. So we're sitting on 79 million in double payments and we're sitting on approximately 40 million in people who have not gotten their exemptions. So that can be done within six to eight weeks by punching apply here online on the computer. If you can't do that there, we're at St. Sabina two days a week, or you can come to 118 North Clark, or you can call us at 312-443-5100. All right. Thank you for breaking this down for us and helping us understand Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas. We appreciate your time.